<laughs> I know you're not looking, but I feel nervous. Okay, anyways. Hi, are you? <laughs> um, hey everyone, I'm just coming here to start this makeup tutorial for the uh, MAC Aladdin collection. I already moisturized, I did eye cream, and I already primed my face. I don't know if the lighting is going to show, but this is the e.l.f oil control primer and a matte finish i have an oily t-zone so i tend to use this and when i use it under my skin it tends to make my face very oily i just primed my face i just did my eyebrows my eyebrows look a little crazy but i just do that as a beginner we're gonna i also just prime my eyes i did that off camera because i know you guys are not here to see how i do my eyebrows we're here to see how i come with a come with a look with this palette um i'm trying to get some ideas we have very a lot of neutrals a lot of metallics so i don't know what i want to come up with but we're gonna get the flow of things oh and for eye primer just in case you was thinking what i was using urban decay urban decay eyeshadow primer anti-aging that's the one i have on my eyes at the moment and then you guys have any questions about my eyebrows i could definitely do that in another video all right so my eyes this one always my i mean my eyebrows always this one's always a little up than this one but it's okay we're gonna ignore that at the moment but that's gonna be fixed when i do everything so i'm gonna start with this color right here it's um it's like a taupe color it's gonna be a great translucent translucent color so i'm gonna blend that right into the crease um it's just a regular blending um brush so i'm just gonna blend that in and i'm gonna do that on both eyes and i'm gonna blend that all the way to the top of and give that a good blend i don't have any tape and i usually like to use tape to create the sharpness on the side but i can't find my tape so i'm gonna do that again on the other side of the eye so And you probably hear the TV because apparently my husband likes me to hear sports with him. So <laughs> I, have to, I have to be updated with the basketball sports with him about where KD should be going. If he should stay in Oklahoma City or he should stay, he should go to the Knicks apparently. <laughs> oh, what the hell is <laughs> I don't know where he's at. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know nothing about sports. I just know about wrestling, okay? <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, back to the look. <laughs> I'm a mess. I'm a mess. I am a mess. So I'm going to use a clean um, blending brush. So just clean. Um, That's not my mirror. Clean any edges, Um, you know, any harsh lines on the top. All right, so I'm going to use that and okay. okay so we're now we're going to enter in another color and all right so one thing about me I don't follow what the brushes are recommended for it so if it's meant for a crease brush crease it's if it's a crease brush I don't use it for the crease I use whatever works for the moment so I'm not going to tell you what brushes I'm using because I go with the flow of things so i'm gonna continue working the crease so right now i got the taupe color mm, i'm feeling let's go a little dark i'm gonna go with this it's almost like a um like a dark purple it has um it looks like it has some damn i wish i could tell you exactly but let's see um with a swatch on the arm so it's like really like a dark dark brown mixed with a little purple listen we're gonna work with what we have um describing the colors here so we're gonna put that under i'm using this to put right under my under the color i just blended out right now so i'm just putting that right in there and i'm gonna blend it out with another brush so i'm gonna listen I'm gonna use this brush again to blend it out. So 
right now, what I could definitely say is that the colors don't, you know how certain colors, when you blend them, they start bleeding and it, it gets really, like, muddy. Um, this definitely doesn't do that. MAC has really good pigmentations with their um, eyeshadows, so that's a good thing about their stuff. But, so you're going to continue blending that out and so and i'm only blending it onto the outside of my crease all right right now it looks a little messy but you know everything's gonna be cleaned up with you know when i do my face and everything but all right so i'm gonna finish blending this out on the out um off camera so best thing is continue blending and then i'll show you the after the next step i just finished blending it out so i kind of went back with the same taupe color and that's to clean up what i need to clean up on the eyes and so i'm gonna grab that i'm gonna i'm gonna blend that out so grab a little bit and i I'm gonna go with another brush that doesn't have any eyeshadows and then just blend that out again one more time. Usually when I have um, the tape that kind of like stops me where I need to do stuff, but I'm gonna clean it. But anyways, all right, so I have that together and we're gonna use something also that came with the palette. It's one of these pigmentation stuff um the loose pigment it's on a very iridescent color um pink and it has gold so we're gonna work with something that has already those colors into the palette so we're gonna grab this one right here and we're gonna just grab that and tap it in to the to the brush so we're gonna you know go ahead and start working on it so we're gonna tap that right into my eyelid. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna continue adding some more. I'm gonna build it to the eye look. So I don't know. I'm, it's for I don't know. When I watch YouTube videos or anybody who's doing makeup tutorials, they be having a full blown conversation with you guys, and I'm like trying my best to think what to talk about. It's, you know what we gotta talk about i don't know i'm gonna use that clean one and kind of like blend that out to the eye look and we're gonna do that on the upper other side i'm actually going to see aladdin today isn't that so cool i actually have an aladdin t-shirt that i found in five and below so i'm gonna actually wear that today i am not wearing this look at all I'm actually just filming for you guys. How oh, isn't that so cool? I'm actually filming. You know, I'm kind of excited actually doing this. Um, a little backstory. Back then, when I used to work in Lomans, I actually used to do um, I used to do um, YouTube videos, and I used to do them just reviewing makeup. I would just buy them and I'll do the swatches for you guys. And I used to do that a lot on YouTube, and not everybody knew about it. It's like my little, my little secret from the world, because I'm like, I didn't, I was kind of like a little embarrassed to tell people I was actually filming videos, and yeah, that was, that was something I didn't like to tell people. Hey, look, I'm, I'm reviewing stuff on YouTube, so yeah, I would not tell people at all. I was like embarrassed. I don't know why I was embarrassed, but I was embarrassed. I was. So it has a little lid. Oh Jesus, you gotta be careful. I'm gonna take off that little lid and we're gonna use this. Uh, all right, so my little trick using pigmentations and oh, look how pretty it is. I don't know, let me use my hands. Like the YouTubers do it. I don't know if you guys could see it. Listen, I'm filming off of my iPhone. 
Uh, I don't know. You can see it. Nope. I am not an expert on YouTube. Um, so let's see if I could do it in my hand. Look, it's so pretty. I don't know. If you can see it, but it's so pretty. It's it has gold and it has it has pink. Okay, it's gorgeous. It's gonna look nice with the whole look. All right. So we're gonna grab the same brush because that's them. Realistic. I don't be switching brushes like that at all. All right. This is my thing. I use a setting spray and I wet my brush. I have the powder there and I start. I wet the first one. And the one I'm gonna use. So I have this that color there and I'm gonna start working on it on the towards the middle and towards the middle and towards the back, like towards the crease area of this. So we're gonna pat that there. And we're only doing this on the first one. Because I want my lid to be sort of a little wet to um pick up the colors and when i dip my brush into the thing again oh god the descriptions are horrible i'm trying to describe this stuff to you anyways so going back so i used to do that i used to actually do youtube videos and um yeah i was just super shy on like I would never want to talk about it with people and only a few people knew about my videos on YouTube yeah but now I'm kind of considering I'm gonna put this video up on YouTube but everybody on the IG TV is gonna have it and they're gonna watch it everybody can watch it so if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel um, it's on my blog so go ahead and click the link in the bio and you can actually follow me on youtube maybe i'll start um recording for you guys you know you know the deal so all right i'm gonna wet my brush so i can pick up some of that color and pat it into my eye that in boom okay okay alright alright so now I'm gonna use a very clean brush to um clean the crease and clean the rest of any little issues that it could have mixed together and then i'll come back to the camera okay i actually got the camera a little closer i hope you guys can actually see the look listen i'm using a little light that i actually use like for like selfies and when i need to like do certain videos and i have to talk to you guys uh definitely for the next one i'll have better quality light and so on so on Okay, so we're going to get back. I'm looking at the wrong palette. And we're going to do the eye um the eyebrow. Um we're going to go with hmm we're going to go with this gold one. I'm going to go with the gold and I'm going to tap my brush in there. And since I have the concealer, that's also why I kind of leave my concealer there because it's like a good um base. I wish they had like more of a neutral to it, but they don't. A little bit of of the gold, and I'm adding a little bit of the pink to give me more of a sunset effect to the look. And just mixing it right above the brown, the pink. Oh, and the pink I'm using is this one. All right, so I'm starting with the gold. I'm putting the gold right under my eyebrow. So right there. And kind of like mixing it right into the eyebrow. And now we're going to get into the pink. And I'm going to put it right above the brown. And it's going to create like sort of like a sunset effect. And we're going to keep on blending that out. And use a clean brush to blend out 
those shadows because you want it to you never want your eyeshadow to have like how could i explain to you have that you look like you definitely went and did not blend it out so you always want to have clean lines to your look so i'm cleaning that out all right so far we have that i'm gonna come back i'm gonna clean up i'm gonna clean up my eye under my eyes and then we're gonna proceed with the rest of the eye look okay all right so i just my phone died so i i was showing you guys how to when i was blending this eye out um so i'm blending i'm gonna show you guys with this side i'm blending the burgundy to the end And I want to apologize if the lighting is not the best. I'm definitely going to improve that. I'm going to order some more lights. And so we could actually have, you know, a better recording next time when I show you guys another different look. So, all right, so that's blended out. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and put foundation on my face. And I'm using Tarte. And this is the uh, Light Neutral. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on my face. And then we're going to come back. And then we're going to look at the rest of the the powder finishes. And then we're going to finish this. Alright, so I'm going to set my under eyes with the Patrick Stars um, collection that he came out during the Christmas time. I love this setting. I'm going to put it only... I'm going to put it in the areas where I want it to bake at. So right now it's under my eyes. And I'm gonna do this area right here before we work on it. Work on it. Don't use a lot because it's really, it's like a really good powder. And I'm gonna add, there we go. Okay. All right. So I have to press um what are the powder powder blushes. So this one is it would not work for me as a powder blush. This one would work great as a contour for me. And then I have this one. Um the name for this one, my bad. It's Your Wish is my command. And the other one, always one jump uh, always one jump ahead. And this one has a really gold shimmer to it. And this one's going to be my blush. So I have my um, baking at the moment. So I'm going to use a contour brush. And we're going to contour my face with your wish is my command. So we're going to contour with this. And I'm going to start with... I start with right above my forehead and I kind of like start blending that out so I start with my forehead and I start bringing it down and I start with very little because I gotta make sure it's a good contour because you can't go ahead and start all right so it looks good so I'm gonna Start working on, I always work on my forehead first, and then down I go. Then contour the two cheeks. Alright, so I'm using the metallic, and I'm kind of just drawing a line under my I'm gonna blend that out. So I'm just applying this right under my eyes. I'm gonna blend that out with a blending brush. But I'm doing this right now under my eyes. Now I'm gonna grab a blending brush. I'm gonna blend everything out. All right, so I'm blending that out. Down. I look a little ashy, but after I blend the other one, it's just gonna look so. So 
okay so i'm gonna use a big powder brush and i'm gonna just blend everything out and even with what i was baking so i don't look ashy in those areas so right now So that's all right be gone I'm done I don't look ashy no more all right so next we're gonna go with air the blush the powder blush and we're gonna go with um, always one jump ahead so pretty um let me see if I could do a uh, swatch on the arms. It's kind of, it sucks because I don't have the best lighting in the, right now what we're using. But it's very shimmery. I don't know if you guys can see it, but if you can't, um, I'm definitely going to take a picture of the look. And then hopefully you can see it when on the camera. So I'm blending that right into my cheekbone. Doing the same for the other side. I'm gonna go in there. Alright. I'm gonna use my powder brush and sort of like blend everything in. Kinda, I do a lot of blending um, from like my blush and contour because I like it to look like it's in like it just goes with the flow of things but all right so now we're gonna step into um let's do highlighter all right so the collection does not come with a highlighter so we're gonna just use my own favorite highlighter and that's the urban decay afterglow I'm gonna use side chick no actually side piece my bad I'm gonna use side piece for a highlighter and I'm gonna use my brush go ahead and highlight hmm. I'm gonna highlight that So we just add a highlighter. Okay, I could have went with the Morphe, but I decided to go with my favorite one, and that was the Urban Decay Afterglow one. Um, so now I'm going to just apply mascara off camera. And just in case, I don't usually use fake lashes on me, but if I'm doing somebody else's makeup, I do. But um, I'm just using Max um, mascara. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to decide on the lipstick and everything. Alright, so I'm going to go with a setting spray. I'm just going to go with a, um, a matte finish setting spray. Like I said, I do get oily, so I'm going to use a matte setting spray. Alright, so while that's, you know, drying up we're gonna proceed on looking at the lipsticks um hmm. usually when my eye look is so intense like this one we have we have this very pretty neutral and this one is friends like me that one's a very pretty neutral and this is another neutral and this one is this one all right i'm gonna be honest i'm probably gonna butcher some of these names because i'm queen butcher of names princess incognito gosh so embarrassing and the and that's in this color right here and the other one that one's more of a darker color and this is ralph roger roger, roger. <laughs> I'm telling you, 
I am Queen Butcher Names. Listen, ain't nothing. Listen, I ain't never gonna change, yo. <laughs> Queen of Butchering Names. All right, so I'm going. <laughs> I'm going with friends, friends like me, because I'm gonna pop a lip gloss on this, and this is a very neutral color, and it's just gonna work great for this look. Because we're gonna put a lip gloss on top of it. So I'm gonna. And you could wear it by itself like any MAC lipstick um, very creamy it's not matte it's more of a satin finish I don't have a liner because I just brought whatever I had here it didn't come on with a lip liner either anyways all right so we have friends like me and for glosses we're gonna start with diamonds in the rough. Rough. Look at me already butchering another name. Um, this one has it has gold. It's a go has gold pigmentations. Look how pretty it is. So what kind of works with this color? I kind of mess. I can mess with a whole bunch of other colors. So the other one is um, jewels on jewels. I'm opening while I'm like telling you guys. And this one is a more of a let's see if, a more of a orangey gold to it as um like a coral, I mean. And then Magic Carpet Ride is the last one. And that one is a pink one, a pink metallic. And that one is the one we're gonna go with on the lips so I'm gonna apply that yeah, as you hear my dog is jealous that I'm in here without him all right so this is the look I'm gonna definitely take some pictures and post it up on Instagram just in case the lighting is not showing I'm just messing around with the light so maybe you guys could see it so this is a quick tutorial if you guys want to see more makeup looks I could definitely start doing it I'm gonna order a better light so we could have a better quality when we film looks together so this is it I'm gonna get a little closer so you could s oh fuck me I just put the lip gloss on my skirt anyways see if you could see it if not we'll definitely i'm gonna ask my husband to take some pictures and we could see it together all right it was it was a great journey today to film with you guys you know a little nervous here and there but you would know i just butcher i'm queen butcher of all names you're gonna know that and i'm not ashamed of it, of it because you know what that's who i am and everybody who's my friend knows i'm a queen butcher of all names but anyways but thank you again for watching this video you know it was a pleasure to film this look and i would definitely do more looks i'm definitely gonna take this makeup off now and there goes my daughter and it's time for me to go <laughs> bye